Hey, Paul. Check it out. Freaking soul today. The one you uh, told me to drink, or recommended I drink for our May Mexican month. You know, from Cinco de Mayo. So, I learned something interesting today. Soul actually means sun. So this is sun beer, sun cerveza. Pretty cool. Let's take a quick look at the bottle, you know? Uh, the artwork on it's pretty cool. It explains why there's a sun on there. <laughs> Soul is sun. Yeah, but uh, it looks kind of a classy, classy kind of uh, artwork. But the beer is physically thinner than uh, I was expecting. Which is a weird, weird comment, right? Like you put it in your hand, you're like, something feels off. So under uh, further inspection of this, it's actually only 11.2 ounces. So it's not even a, f I would consider a full beer 12 ounces, so. Oh well. Obviously it's bright, yellow, clear, very clear. I like that, you know I like that. So, uh, open it up and pour it out. Take a look. Okay. So pour it out. This is the second take, so uh, I didn't like how it came out, so only a pour halfway. So when I poured it, it got a little darker. I guess a little more red. I think it got red. I'm colorblind. Red's hard for me. So looks like it got a little more red. Actually, maybe it was because of my desk. I don't know. But it got darker. It, it's a, it got darker when I poured it into a regular regular glass. Uh, so smell and smell it. It does have malty aroma, but it's not very strong. Uh, it's nothing too offensive. You know, you could tell it's beer, pretty much. It's kind of almost like a light beer. Uh, this is a lager. The uh, soul is a lager. Interesting fact. For the review, right? Uh, let's give it a taste. So, overall, is a right on the tongue as soon as you taste it. It's, it's more sour than anything else. Uh, with some malts that follow. It's kind of mellow overall. It's not a very, uh, I wouldn't say potent. I mean, it is 4.5% alcohol by volume, so it's, 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 it's just a, you know, standard down the middle of the road type of beer. Uh, you know, it's clear. So, overall, you know what? I can see us drinking this on the beach at a pool party. Uh, it'd be pretty good to just hang out, but it is missing one thing. You know what's missing? It's missing a lime. It's missing a lime. The lime is a, a good additive to put into this beer. I mean, I mean this beer is typical. This beer is kind of related to a Corona. That they're both made in Mexico. But, uh, since it's so light, malty, a little sour, uh, the, beer, the the lime changes the flavor a little bit and makes it a little bit better. Yeah, much better. So, uh, other than it being an 11.2 ounce beer bottle, this is a great beer. Uh, is it one of the best? I wouldn't say so, but it's definitely one that we're going to drink when we're on the beach hanging out in the summer, watching the kids play in the sand, while the wives yell at us, why are you drinking so much? Anyway, 